Okay. I'm convinced that I found the best steak recipes around, and I'm not going to pretend like I know what I'm talking about, because I don't. But this man does. This is Austin, the steak master. And let me tell you, the best steak I've ever had has come from this man, and he is here to give us three very foolproof steak recipes, right? They're fast, fun. And affordable. That's what I like to hear. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's talk about these cuts of meat first. Okay. What are we using and how do we pick out a nice... Well, your ideal cut of meat should be about 5'1", real pretty blue eyes, <laughs> kind of like a yellow, cute oh, skirt. Oh, Austin. You're smooth. I like that. I did. You're smooth. I've been trying to get you to go out with me since the last yeah, segment. Yeah, I know, I know. Jeez. It's going to happen for all you out there. Don't worry. It will happen. All right. Okay. What we're doing today, we're doing three different cuts of meat. We're going to start out with the sirloin. It's kind of like the... McDonald's of grillable steaks, but it works, it's edible, and it's cheap. Um, you want, there are two types of sirloins, petite and top. Top sirloin is a little more tender, has better flavor, has little fat running along the side and throughout, which will melt, spread in the steak, and give it a little bit of flavor. Uh, the second steak we're going to use is a New York strip. Uh, the New York strip and the ribeye come from the same cut of meat, but the strip has a thin line of fat that runs along the side, melts into it to give it flavor. And then what is this, Kels? Why don't you tell me? This is the ribeye. This, this is, is the ribeye, baby. Look at all that fat. Yeah, this is amazing. It's, there's a technical term. Do you remember it from last time? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Marbling. 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 Marbling is when you've got fat running throughout the steak. So we cook it, the fat melts, spreads into it, gives it amazing flavor. So are we going through the recipes That's a right nice now? That's a piece of meat. Oh, that is. That's a nice piece of meat. Yeah, why don't you take a it's no, It's recipe. no 5-1 blue-eyed temptress, but <laughs> it'll do. All right, we're going to start out with the sirloin. Um, Let's see here, let's clear out my space. <clears throat> All right, so since the sirloin doesn't have a lot of fat and doesn't have a lot of natural flavor, uh, what we're gonna do here is give it as much flavor as we possibly can. Perfect. Uh, without overdoing it and without ruining the flavor of the right. meat. So we're gonna start out with just some store-bought Montreal steak seasoning. I prefer the spicy, I'm from Texas, lived in Mexico for a while, so. Well, I'm a spicy girl, so. So I hear. I'm probably gonna. So I hear. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just a nice light season. Now one tip with, uh, with seasoning steaks is the smaller the surface area, the more densely concentrated your, your uh, seasoning needs to be. So with this, which is fairly, fairly wide, then we don't need to do it that thick. Right. And then this is the key. I actually came up with this making elk steaks because elk has a real strong gamey flavor. And so the, the brown sugar helps mitigate the, the gaminess of the flavor somewhat. I love brown sugar. Oh, it's so good. All right. So we're going to take spicy the... Spicy and sweet, right? Sweet and spicy. Okay, so Austin, let's throw this baby on the grill. Okay. Toss it on. Perfect. Look at that sizzle. Okay, let's start with our next recipe. All right, do you want to do the uh, Sicilian style or the Greek style? Let's do the Sicilian style. All right, Sicilian style, pretty easy. You take your bottle of extra virgin olive oil. Staple for any, any or cook, any, right? Yeah, any aspiring would-be chef. That's right. Nothing screams pretentious quite like a bottle of imported olive oil. That's correct. All right, so we're going to rub down the, the New York strip with that. Take our kosher salt. Uh-huh. Perfect for those Yom Kippur meals. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a recipe for kosher pork, and I just can't do it. All right. So I'll, we're gonna, I'll brainstorm for you. Thanks a lot, yeah. darling. All right, so we're going to season this up with kosher salt, and then... Black peppercorns on, crushed black. Uh, the coarser the better, just because it gives a little bit of texture and it provides a nice foil for the uh, kosher salt. Great. So then, we're gonna toss that on the grill. Look at those grill marks. That ain't bad. Are you, are you like being paid to advertise for no, George Foreman or No, I'm not. But this is, you know, for an indoor grill, we're doing a pretty good job, I'm, right? I'm pleasantly surprised. Good, good. All right. Let's move on to this, which I'm real excited about. I'm real excited about this. The marbleization thing that's going on. Good, good. All right. Yeah. We're going to start out. It's real basic. Prepared minced garlic. Gotcha. Um, you can do the whole, you know, buy the garlic, mm -hmm. mince it yourself. To be perfectly frank, this works better. It tastes better. And Great. it's a lot easier. Great. So you got to be, yeah, you can't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Oh, I'm not. Never. All right. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the olive oil. Okay. We're just going to kind of let the juices from the garlic coat the steak. Great. Along with the, the garlic itself. Kosher salt. Ooh. Nice even coating. Love it. A little black pepper. And then 
My secret chili pequins. Oh, um, perfect. I prefer, they're, they're called chitapines. Uh, you get them from Mexico, but I wasn't able to get any for today, so we're having to use the chili pequins. Okay. You can get them in any grocery store. They're like crushed red peppers, just a little bit spicier. Okay? Great. All right, so we do that. Perfect. Open the grill. Toss it on. Yes. Look at how fantastic that looks. Got to do okay. both sides, right? Both sides. No skimping there. Kosher salt. Mm-hmm. Add our chili pickings. Add our pepper. Chili pickings. Put that Perfect. back on. That's going to be almost ready to go. Um, so how, on average, how long are you going to cook your steaks for? It all depends on the grill. Um, Ideally, when you're ready to put your steaks on, you shouldn't be able to hold the back of your hand to the grill for more than two or three seconds without, okay. it, without it getting too hot. Okay. Um, remember that trick I showed you last time? Yes. With the rare, medium yes. rare? We're not going to go through it today, but let me stress how important it is to not cook your steaks above medium. Rare, medium rare, maybe medium if you have to. Okay. Cooking it medium well to well ruins it. Ruins Might as well go to steak. IHOP and get a steak. Uh, it's going to be that bad. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Okay. We so don't want to do that. Perfect. That's going to be ready. That okay. actually is ready right now. These other two are ready in about five minutes. Perfect. Are well, you going to stick around and taste these with me? Uh, I thought we were going to go out to lunch. Okay, well, we'll see about okay. that. Well, Austin, thank you so much for coming on, making an appearance on the Foolproof DVD. These are all very easy recipes. Anybody can do these, right? Yeah. Not only are they easy, they're also fast, fun, fun and, and affordable. affordable and foolproof. Let's take a look at these steaks. Okay. We ready to pull these off? Yeah, definitely. All right. Montreal oh. style right there. Oh, my dear goodness gracious. Let's take off the uh, Greek style. Oof. And then we're going to take off the Sicilian style, but we have to remember, we're not done with it just yet. Not just yet. Not just yet. Sicilian okay. style, we've already put on the olive oil, salt, pepper. Um, what really makes a Sicilian style, though, is put that down. Fresh lemon juice. Oh. Okay. Gotta love it. Squeeze that over the top. Oh, dear. Another one. Love Squeeze lemons. that for me. Absolutely. Right over the top. And that's that. Oh, Austin, I can't wait to dig in. Let's do it. Let's do it. You'll definitely want to try these steak recipes. Very fast, fun, and affordable, and foolproof. Dang it.